What do we get for ten dollars? Everything you want. Well, it's not quite ten dollars, but for sixteen dollars you can get an orange pie zero free. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Intriguing Tech. Today I have another review and it's a tiny computer. It's a Orange Pi Zero Three and it's a single board computer and it's tiny. Have a look at it next to the uh, Raspberry Pi Three. As you can see, it's about half the size. It's um, available with one gig of RAM for as little as $16 and there are 1.5 gig, 2 gig and 4 gig versions. The version I have here and um, I am reviewing is the 4 gig uh, DDR4 version which I got for uh, $25 from China. That doesn't include VAT and shipping so I'll bear that in mind. If you want a closer look. Right, for the CPU it has an all winner H618 processor which is based on the Cortex A53 and runs at 1.5 GHz. And for um, network connectivity it has a Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5 as well as Gigabit Ethernet here. Moving on to the input output side of things, it has um, a mini uh, micro H mini or is it micro HDMI port and a USB port here which sadly is only USB 2.0 and uh, we have a USB-C port here but that's only for um, power which needs 3 amps by the way but be careful if you use a, a HDMI adapter because you could end up blocking the uh, port here now at the top we've got some um, GPIO pins here um, I think there's 26 pins and at the bottom we also have um, 13 pins for um, expansion. It, you can have an, uh, an interface port to increase the uh, USB ports and um, an audio port and infrared port as well which you can buy separately. Um, for operating systems there are a couple you can choose from including Orange Pi OS and uh, Arch Linux and Debian Linux as well as Android. The uh, operating system in uh, Linux uh, lacks hardware acceleration GPU drivers so we have to use Android TV for um, quite a few things. To set up Android you need um, a software called uh, Phoenix Card and change the work type from to uh, startup and then it will um, make a bootable micro SD card. Okay uh, let's kick uh, things off with some uh, arcade emula emulation. I'm going to um, start off with the easy stuff with a uh, MAME and see uh, how it copes. First up, I tested some arcade games with MAME, and the uh, lesser demanding ones were no problem for it. If you shoot on top of the elevator here, your score goes up, not just my score going up. There's quite a few glitches like this in this game. Certain Dreamcast games were almost uh, 100%. Uh, I believe with a bit of an overclock you could get 100%. You will be 
Well, the uh, PlayStation 1 wasn't uh, much of a problem for it. It was uh, full speed on most games, actually. Nintendo 64 wasn't too much uh, of a problem for it, um, only certain games, more demanding games, did slow it down a bit. After the box, um, PSP games were a bit too slow for it when um, there's a lot of action going on the screen. With a bit of tweaking, I believe you could get it up to 100% uh, on certain games. Not dreaming, not dreaming, not dreaming, not... What? Damn it, I was dreaming! Why is life so unfair? All I want is the ability to eat everything in sight and turn into a giant ball! Is that too much, Dad? Damn you, reality! Uh, next up, I have the uh, speed test running to see how good the Ethernet was, and um, it's quite capable of running gigabit speeds, um, as you can see here.
I did some video playback tests with Cody and it can play it back up to 4K 30 frames per second no problem. It does start to encounter problems at 4K 60. Right, next up is the Geekbench 5 uh, benchmark test. Um, I'll skip to the end here so we can get to the results. Right, here's the uh, score. It scores 110 in single core and 390 in multi core, um, which puts it in the middle of the scores between the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Raspberry Pi 3B, which are the other. Uh, to single board computers I own. Well, that concludes my uh, review of the uh, Orange Pi Zero Free single board computer. It's an interesting little board. It's designed for electronic projects and robotic projects. It packs a lot of power, as you saw, and it has its various use cases in uh, electronics projects. Um, and as an emulation device it's actually okay for its price and the compact form factor but you've got to work out to set it up and it's not very dear, beginner friendly you have issues with the uh, ROM directories in uh, Android TV and uh, it doesn't come with uh, anything you have to side load a lot of apps to get things uh, working anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, smash that like button and um, please uh, subscribe I've got a lot of videos coming up and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.